Okay, so you have an R9MM or R9 mini receiver which you're going to install in your quad. So when you first get it, what you may want to do is upgrade the firmware. So there are a number of options that you can do when you first purchase the receiver. And you have obviously a number of pads on the board that you can initially solder to to update the firmware. So what options do you have? So you want to connect um, smart port, ground and voltage uh, to supply the power at the correct time when you use the software to flash the firmware or you use a Tyrannus or other Fry Sky transmitter radio. On the X9 you'd take out the module bay and you would use you would use a modified servo connector. So you'd obviously move the uh, black wire to the middle, um, power to an outer pin and signal to the other outer pin. And on the X9 the signal is at the bottom and the power is at the top on the last three pins and the middle one is is ground. Now you would then connect and solder these wires to um, your receiver, so obviously uh, supply voltage ground and signal wire to smart port. There's plenty of videos on this, you go in, put your firmware onto your transmitter and flash it out to external module which would go into the transmitter. And then obviously you would wire it into your quad. What options have you got to actually conveniently change it? Well, you haven't really. Um, the first one is obviously to remove the top plate. Um, either have those wires connected all, already, it's like a spare plug, um, and then you'd have to disconnect it from the FC, and then you could uh, use that to flash the firmware through your Tyrannus. Other option, remove it altogether, and do it that way, which is a bit of a pain once it's actually in your quad. You don't really want to be doing that. The other way is to use a serial pass through in beta flight. But first off, you would need smart port working and configured within beta flight to do that. Obviously, if you haven't got that configured, then that option's out. Also, you'd have to have your receiver powered um, by the by a, uh, a supply voltage that's powered that that's received from the battery, not from your USB connector, because when you set up serial pass through, if your receiver powers up, then you can't flash the firmware through with the uh, S port firmware tool via serial pass through to the receiver, it won't work. So that's another pain. Um, if you like me, I like the receiver wired up to the 5 volt line on the USB port. So when it's in beta flight, you can play around with your transmitter. There's no power to the quad, so that's all safe. And it's only 5 volts low voltage um, around the FC and onto the receiver. So what is another alternative to make this easier so you can just upgrade it without undoing the quad if you can't use serial pass-through. The other option is to use this tool which is um, FrySky STK tool and what it is basically it's an FTDI under the shrink wrap um, with an inverted output it's provided with the cable and some instructions and then you download the software from the FrySky uh, website and you would flash it to your receiver so your R9MM or your mini by obviously 
connecting or soldering wires to that uh, you would then set this up set the port up get it to find the device plug it in that would provide power at the correct time for this to come on and then you flash the firmware but again this this would have to be outside the quad to do that so how do you do it to make it conveniently so you don't have to desolder or take your quad apart what you would need to do is combine a USB cable some small I think 2.54 mil pitch pin connectors small pin connector sockets and a servo split splitter lead which I haven't got at the moment into something like this so if you ignore that bit at the moment that that is going to be I'll show you in a minute but we'll make one that is going to be one of these so that'll be a USB so what have I done well I've I've used a splitter cable and I've hacked into the supply voltage of the um, positive and negative 5 volts into a, a homemade connector and then the other end will go into this tool which is that way around okay so what would happen is you plug this into the computer plug this into your quads USB port this would go into a small connector that I've added to the bottom of the receiver which is buried in there this would plug into your computer you would find the software firmware ready to flash with the software provided by FrySky um, you click find advice and then you would plug this in while it's in the computer it would find your receiver because power would be supplied 5 volts from your computer down into your flight controller your flight controller would immediately supply power to your receiver at the correct time and um, you have the ground and the signal wire connected to S port and ground on your receiver while it's already in the quad and then you click download and once you're finished you could disconnect it from this which is still in your computer disconnect that from receiver disconnect the USB and you're good to go you don't need to take anything apart to do that um, very convenient way of doing it and a cheap way of doing it it's cost about 9 to 12 pounds um, you can use these externally you can use these for other things I thought I might use this one but I've actually used this quite a few times now um, advantage is 9 12 pounds if you get this wrong or damage this you can go in the bin <coughs> you're not damaging your couple hundred pound transmitter plus also it'll supply the correct uh, low voltage as well from the USB which will be 5 volts to the to the um, to the flight controller you could obviously modify this and connect it to your transmitter but then you'd have to have a um, voltage regulator to regulate the supply voltage from here down to 5 volts so you didn't blow your FC controller but why bother because you're going to risk whatever transmitter you've got which is far more expensive costly to repair to replace sorry than the money is USB sticks